in the restaurant. Is that a special? Is that a standard? Is that a this appetizer? Is, is it a we entree? have it on our menu as an entree mm -hmm. um, that, that is available now. Um, sometimes we do tweak it here and there, but we always end up going back to this, this preparation just because it sells so well and people love it. This is? This is masago arare, uh, or rice pearl balls. Mm -hmm. So basically it's uh, like kakimochi without the, sh without the salt. And the sugar. And the sugar. Yeah. So it's made out of rice and, it's re and it, we pan fry it and it gets nice and crunchy. Nice mouth feel then, yeah? Absolutely. It's just a different texture, a whole different texture, especially when you're dealing with a product like this. It's so oily and... 3660 on the rise. How many years now in business? We've been there for 20 years. 20 we just years. made 20 years wow. anniversary. How about this you? September. I have been there for 16 of those. 16? 16. 16 years. Good for you. No one's going to hear this, but how's working with Russell? Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good. Good. It's Good like answer. A, every day is like a roller coaster and a new learning experience. <laughs> Good deal. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, a curious choice when you opened up in Kaimaki so many years ago, but now it's become a destination because of you guys. Right, in that, right. In that, uh, that whole area has just bloomed, just blossomed. How long are you uh, going to keep this in the pan? For a fish this size, it's about four ounce fillets. We're going to sear it on the arare side for about three to four minutes. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to turn the heat down just a little bit just to let it cook through. A fish like this, uh, you could definitely eat it medium rare. Mm -hmm. uh, it might have a little bit of chew to it, but you definitely wouldn't want to cook it any more than medium. No, you're absolutely like most right. fish. Like most fish, you'd want to keep it mid -rare, medium rare to medium, nice and juicy. Ooh, looks good already. We're gonna finish off our butter sauce. Mm -hmm. Made a yuzu butter sauce here. The white wine, scallions, some shallots. Yuzu being the uh, Asian citrus. Right. So this is an extract. What I just poured in there. It's a very strong. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. So take it easy, yeah? Take it. Very good acid. And we're just going to strain this out to get this, the scallions out. So to make your butter sauce, you began with? Some white wine, mm -hmm. a little bit of rice wine vinegar, some scallions, some chopped ginger, and a touch of the yuzu juice to begin with. You don't want to start with too much of the yuzu juice. The acid's too high. It might tend to break the cream mm. and, and curdle the butter when you got it when it's cooking. So that's why I added it just at the end. And also to keep that flavor just nice and bright. Mm -hmm. You don't want to cook it too much. So we've got our yuzu butter sauce. And then we're just gonna take our salmon fillets, put them side by side. You don't want to stack them so that the uh, arare stays nice and crust, crunchy. Mm -hmm. And then we can take a little bit of kabayaki sauce. Gotcha. Go ahead and, and give us a rundown on kabayaki sauce. Kabayaki sauce is basically a, a, a mixture made out of shoyu, sugar, midin, some other flavors. And the main flavoring uh, is unagi. Mm -hmm. That when you eat unagi, that's the this is the sauce. So we just take a little bit of that, drizzle it right across, and then we will take some microgreens for garnish. Boy, that's beautiful, isn't it? And just put a little bouquet of microgreens. Wow, Chef, what an amazing dish. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a quick break, a okay. real quick one. And folks, we're gonna be right back to let you know how this one goes over, but I can already tell you it's gonna go over great. Good stuff. Thanks, Ben. Hi, welcome back to the show, folks. If you just joined us, we're with Chef Lydell Leong from 3660 On The Rise and Chef Terrific Salmon Dish. Can you describe this for us again? I sure can, Ben. So today we've made a pan-seared masago arare crusted New Zealand salmon mm. with a yuzu butter sauce and we've just used a little bit of kabayaki sauce right over the top. Wow, this thing is falling apart. It's so rich. It's nice. Mm. It's the, the uh, healthy oil. Chef, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. We Appreciate also, it, Ben. Oh, you're welcome. We also want to say thank you to everybody else who participated on today's program. Folks, it's not going to be that long. We'll see you in about a week on Let's Go Fishing.